video I'm going to review uh, an in-class quiz in which we had to create this horizontal navigation menu using a bulleted list and an image. The image was provided and it was a three-state image that I found off the web. Can't recall the site at the moment. We were only going to use the first two stages, the, uh, the current link background and on the hover state. In other class activities we looked over how to use an active state too, so you can use three stages of the image. So in this one we want to create a horizontal menu system. And we're going to start off with an unordered list. So this is my current web page. In fact, let me go so we can see how the page looks. There we go. So since we're starting with a bulleted list, that's all we see on the web page at the moment. So I'm going to go through this stage uh, step by step so we can uh, learn the process. Now with my HTML, I've gone ahead and uh, my unordered list has four anchor tags inside of four list items. And I have that unordered list contained within a div uniquely identified as nav menu. And I have that div contained within a parent div, which I'm calling container. So I'm going to start off with my container. Now while I'm working with um, various elements, blocks, divs, and CSS, I like to put temporary borders on things. So that way I can kind of see the shapes, see where, it's, you know, see where things are going, and it makes it a lot easier when you're uh, doing cross-browser compatibility. So I'm going to start off with my container, and uh, just in a temporary state, I'm going to go ahead and put a thin border on it. And I'll delete that in a little bit. Text align center. margin 15 pixels. Now the goal here is I truly want my navigation menu to be centered and since my navigation and menu, menu is made up of an unordered list I'm going to center that on the page. So this is how it's looking so far and uh, this is how it looks in Firefox by the way. I'm not going to jump back and forth a lot during the process so uh, now I'm in Firefox mode. Now my nav menu which is the div that contains my unordered list. I've already experimented with several numbers here, so I'm going to go with what I've determined. There we go. So most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Width and height and no padding. And for the margin, I'm choosing zero pixels of margin on the top and the bottom, and auto margins on the left and the right. This is a common technique for centering. So my navigation menu will be centered. So wait, isn't it centered already? So let's, uh, let's check this out for a moment. I'm going to take that margin zero pix auto out, save what I have, refresh. So this is in Firefox, this is in IE, and IE things are going pretty well for me in my horizontal centering. But in Firefox they're not. So margin zero pix auto will help me in centering in Firefox. Now I want to manipulate specifically the unordered list within my navigation menu. So this is the true UL element here. I want to get rid of the bullets. go. Bullets are gone. Now I want to manipulate the list items within my own ordered list within my navigation menu. And just so we can kind of visualize what's happening here, put a temporary border on these. So the list items within my navigation menu, they're going to each one will be 130 pixels wide. They're going to float to the left, and this is an important step here because that will get them side by side. 
course by default unordered list is in a vertical orientation so float left for each list item gets them right next to each other and a little bit of four pixel margin this is four pixels of margin on all four sides so four pixels of margin on the left and on the right so I get about eight pixels of space in between so we get more of a button like appearance now I want to manipulate the anchor tags that are within my list items I'll assume that the only anchor tags within my navigation menu are those in the list items. So you could do this even more detailed. U L L I A. That would work as well. And uh, go do a couple things here. Some are really familiar to you, I'm sure. Font family. And get rid of the underline. I generally don't like to put underlines on hyperlinks that are inside of navigation menus. It's pretty clear that they're navigation menus or links. Now this is pretty critical here. Anchor tags, of course, are an inline element, but in order to easily manipulate their width and their heights and their margins, then they need to be block elements. So basically, we're telling the browser that this inline element needs to be treated like a block element. So now that my anchor tag is a block element, I can set its width. And I'm going to set the width to 130 pixels, which is the same width as the list item. And here's the key reason for something like this. Now before I hit my refresh, you'll see that my link is actually the text. If I were to click to another part of this, we'll call it a button for now, I don't get a link. I have to put my mouse right on the text. But now that my anchor is a block element, and my anchor is exactly the same width, as the list item that it contains it, my link will now fill up the available space. So on my browser, I'll refresh. Now, even if I click off to the side of a particular text at the edge of a button, I'll still get that link status. Of course, there's no link in between the buttons. So now, the anchor tag is a rectangle shape that is filling up the list item rectangle shape. Um, the button I'm using, if, or the image that I'm using, remember it has three stages, red, green, and black. Uh, the total image height is 120 pixels. Each color phase is 40 pixels in height. By setting the height of the available space, the anchor tag, and also a line height that's similar, it'll create a rather nice vertical centering of the text. make that font size a little bit more noticeable and this is a pretty critical part here this is the background image that I want to use for my for my buttons for my navigation menu items there we go so now I've got a pretty decent horizontal navigation menu here now that I've got this structured, I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete some of these borders that I've had before. So, Okay, almost done. Last on the list is to give the hover effect. This isn't so bad. The links already look the way I want them to look in their current state. So, my navigation menu, can, of course, contains hyperlinks I'm going to do in their hover state and on hover I'm going to reposition the background image currently the background image is that three stage um, image red green or green red and black I'm going to shift the background position I'm not going to shift it anywhere to the left or right but I'm going to shift it up into negative space 40 pixels so since the green is 40 pixels tall the red is 40 pixels tall and the black is 40 pixels tall if I shift upward a negative 40 pixels that means the red will be exposed on hover and I will also um, adjust the font a little bit so it just makes it a little bit more obvious there we go there's the hover effect in Firefox and the hover effect in Internet Explorer